a study released just this morning by the American Academy of Pediatrics finds parents of young children, especially mothers, are more at risk of becoming overweight than people of the same age without children. Registered dietitian Cynthia Sass is here to explain and give us some tips on staying healthy. Good morning. Good morning. You know, a lot of the moms in the studio were chatting this morning. We heard this and we said, yeah, because when your kids are little, you feel like you don't have time to do anything. You finish the food off their plates. True. Is that really the reason that we're packing on the pounds? Absolutely. And it applied more to moms than dads, which is no surprise, right? Because moms are really the ones who are stressed out, sleep deprived, and pressed for time. And sleep deprivation alone can up your hunger hormones, cause you to crave more fatty and sweet foods. And really, when you're pressed for time, we reach for the quick, convenient, comfort foods. And those tend to be the not so healthy choices. The things that are more processed. Absolutely. The things that stick with us longer yeah and all those places we don't want them to stick right. so what can we do about it well you know what the number one thing parents can do is eat healthy themselves with enthusiasm all the studies show that even through 18 years old parents are the biggest influence over sports celebrities and over uh, sports figures and celebrities in general wow even through 18 that's amazing. So we have to start by setting a good example. Yes. You have some ideas for us on ways we can make things a little healthier for the entire family. So yes. let's start with and, the, and with the food easy. changes. pretty easy. Don't take a lot of time. Don't take a lot of effort because we all know that that's an issue. So instead of sweets, maybe fruit kebabs. Here we have some nonfat yogurt with a little bit of honey and cinnamon stirred into it. Yep. Instead of maybe chocolate milk or some kind of soda, a smoothie. Kids love smoothies. Some frozen fruit, some nonfat milk. Throw some chocolate chips in there and even a scoop of oats to give you some, a serving oh. of whole grains quick and easy. You've got peanut butter there too. I know you, yes. make, you like to make smoothies too with almond butter sometimes. Absolutely. That will help you absorb more antioxidants from the fruit. This is also a fun thing. I've noticed my four-year-old loves to make smoothies, so it's a fun way to get your kids involved too. Yes. Let them make the loud, you know, the lender, blender make that loud noise. <laughs> That's true. I let them press the button. And even instead of something frozen and processed, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, like a pizza pocket, take some whole grain English muffins, keep them open faced, put some healthy marinara sauce, a little bit of, uh, you know, let's say part skim mozzarella on top, throw them in the toaster oven, and you have an after school the snack. The good old English muffin pizza. But I grew up is, on those. Yeah, and this is so important because, you know, unfortunately what we're seeing is that the statistics are pretty scary when it comes to childhood obesity. Today's generation of kids may be the first to not outlive their parents wow. because we're seeing diseases in kids that we normally see in adults, from type 2 diabetes to high blood pressure and even heart disease. So in 1976, 5% of children in the U.S. qualified as obese. Today, it's 20%. One in five kids. Just in my lifetime, 5% to 20%. That's scary. So we really need to do so, something. And so we need to start at home. So this is one way, obviously, these are some of the foods. Also, physical activity is very important because a lot of the moms, and it is more moms, as you mentioned, than yeah. dads, they're not getting out and exercising enough. Right. I say take advantage of your local parks. There's a lot of free or low-cost activities there from indoor or outdoor swimming to renting bikes, renting um, roller skates, for example. And even if you're at home, go to your local library and rent DVDs like dance DVDs. Mm -hmm. Instead of playing video games, do some of the old-fashioned games like charades, um, you know, Twister, just to get up and get moving, and that will really make a huge difference. And do it together as a family. You mentioned the Twister, those DVDs instead of video games. What about if you have a picky eater, though? It may be tough to change some of their habits, especially when you're tired and stressed out and you don't feel like dealing with the yeah. battle. Getting kids involved, as you said, they love to be involved with shopping for the food and preparing for it. So the more invested they are, the more interested they become in healthy eating. So grow vegetables together, plant a garden or even a windowsill pot, make some tomatoes or some herbs on your own. Um, go to a pick your own farm and prepare something together that you picked together. And then finally, allow your child to pick out one new fruit or vegetable from the supermarket every time you go to the grocery store. I have seen this transform kids where they get really excited about trying a mango or a papaya or a dragon fruit. They really look forward to eating it and then they become more interested in fruits and vegetables in and general. sometimes they can actually get their parents inter interested yes. in new foods because it may be something mom and dad aren't familiar with. Absolutely. Great artichoke, way to get for involved. example. The artichoke. <laughs> I'll take them all. Right. Always good to have you here with some great Thank advice you. for us. Cynthia, thanks.